There's a rumor of an unexplored 10 kilometer long cave in the Dominican Republic. This country probably has thousands of caves, but it's long been overlooked by cavers. And this is the sinkhole entrance. Look at this. We decided to become one of the first groups of cavers to look for and map undiscovered caves in the Dominican Republic. 120.11. Then can you give me a left? What we found exceeded our expectations. Hi, I'm Suhey and I'm a Mexican. I'm one of the members of this awesome group. Three gringos and one Latina discovering a system here in Dominican Republic. I'm Lucas, I'm from the States, and I'm part of this team. Uh, I, you should be going up. Hi, I'm Dave, I've been here five days, and this is how I go to the cave now. I don't even try to be clean anymore. Hi, my name's Ashley, and we're caving in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> the area around Boca de Yuma has plenty of karst, and likely hundreds of undiscovered caves. It's also filled with creepy crawlies. This is a tarantula in the shower. We had quite an adventure getting to our first cave. Right now, we are headed to the wasp cave. And we are told to bring these bee suits because they've been stung several times and it's really painful. Much of the Dominican Republic, but especially the Southeast jungles, are filled with wasp nests. This is the red zone where we're surrounded by wasp nests, just inside the drip line uh, marking the entrance of the cave. We have passed the gauntlet of wasps and bees to make it to the cave, which we have named, what have we named this cave? Wasp in Eye Cave. Wasp in eye cave because Lucas got a wasp in the eye, but it didn't sting him. thought this would be the 10 kilometer system, but it surprisingly ended in only 600 feet. Continuing the search, we combed the jungle in bee suits and found other entrances. All right, guys. Most ended quickly, but were still decorated. The passage here only continues for like 200 feet. It's all crawling, but it is so decorated. It is worth all the sweating. Look at how beautiful this is. One entrance stood out and paid off. We spent Five days bushwhacking out here with machete, shears, asking some locals, going in circles and zigzags in this forest. This is one of the finds. Here's the entrance. The 
entrance is a tight squeeze that opens into an enormous chamber. This is totally Virgin Cave. No one else has ever seen this cave. We just discovered it. This is what's inside. This one was incredibly decorated and a true gem to find. This is some of the gnarliest bacon we've seen. It's like two feet thick. It's actually so big that you can see where it broke off and pieces have just fallen. It's absolutely incredible. There were curtains of bacon inside and unique formations that looked like fried eggs. We called it Bacon Egg and Cave. Just crawling into this passage here. See where it goes? It doesn't look like it goes anywhere, but it, it is nicely decorated. We explored it well, searching every crack inside, but it also ended fairly quickly. After a week of effort, we decided to refocus our efforts on a small hole we had overlooked earlier. And this is the cave. It goes down to these amazing galleries this is the one we're gonna map. We're gonna see how far it goes. This entrance is a crawling entrance, which is kind of unusual for the Dominican Republic where a lot of the caves are huge. Uh, it's worth noting that there are bats in this cave. We already went in and saw thousands of bats. And I guess they come out of this little entrance. It's also worth remembering that in the Dominican Republic, the giant centipedes will actually crawl up the walls of the entrance to eat bats as they fly out of the cave. Uh, just something to think about when your shoulders are brushing the walls as you blindly enter a cave here. This cave quickly opened into a maze of large and small passages. We named it Georgeoisy Cave after some mysterious graffiti at the entrance. Much of this cave is huge walking passage that you can cover like pretty fast, but occasionally the, the big passages pinch off into tiny tight crawls. So this is one of the tight crawls that Ashley found a few days ago, she's in it now. And this goes out to a huge sinkhole, I think the, the fifth entrance to the cave. The upper labyrinthine entrance had certainly been entered at some point but many of the lower passages had no sign of humans at all. He's trying. This is what Caden's about right here. Doing what it takes to be upside down. Oh. Here we have a whip scorpion, also called whip spider, Amblypigda and it's eating one of its own kind. These things are phew, almost a foot across, leg to leg. It's a horrific looking creature. Yes. 
We are fully confident that this cave had never been entered by cavers before, and it certainly had never been fully explored. After five straight days of surveying and over 180 stations, we reached a lead that would require breaking formations to continue exploration. Huh. Can't go through there. You see that? Yep. Looks like you can stand up in there. I ain't going. Going? It's just too much. Grandma. Are you going? We did not continue. We put together our sketches at the end of the trip. It's not the best. After we got home, we processed the cave's final map on the computer. Exploration efforts in the Dominican Republic are just beginning. <laughs>